doesn't sound half bad. Uh, this is a little test of my uh, new amp rack setup. Uh, I recently got a bunch of equipment from middle school. Or not a middle school. Uh, it was from a uh, community center down in Norwich. It was like a small community center that was converted into an office building. They had a little auditorium. This was their setup. Um, consists of, well, the Aegisus compressor is mine. I needed that in here because these hemp's, you know, they can clip and they don't have any compression in them. So I absolutely needed a compressor. But uh, anyhow, it consists of an Aegisus 3630 compressor, dual channel, uh, two Altec Lansings, uh, 1432s for equalizers. You can see I have them set to uh, in between. The top amp is not even being used. So I can really just shut that off along with this guy right here. Um, is channel A goes into this guy, which then goes into both the channels down here. I have this top one set as a a base, uh, as just a um, not a base, but as a um, a bridged amplifier. So I'm getting about 400 watts out of the top one. The bottom one is set to uh, not bridge, but it's set to uh, uh, dual. But what I actually have a special crossover module that goes on it. Oops, sorry, it's a mess in here. I have a special uh, crossover module right there that allows it to um, go ahead and instead of uh, you know crossing over, it allows it to um, you know or it crosses over. Excuse me, but it allows it to. Uh, do low cut of 100 goes to the sound tech subs the actually i could really just drive the sound techs by themselves because they have an individual hookup point and a built-in crossover but the sound tech subs are the only things that's being ran under 100s the rest are going to my altec lansing what are these they're the uh you can't even see. excuse me you can't even see the altec lansing uh, 937 professional loudspeaker system. These are like, these are basically like, uh, stage monitor, you know, speaker hybrids. They're kind of funky little things. I took the cases off of them because I was going to clean them, but here's the tops to them. See? They're not bad little things. I mean, they sound pretty good. I mean, for 10 inches, I think they're 10 inches. They look pretty small. They could be an 8. I'm not sure. Oops, now I'll take Lansing logo when these come out. These grills are not that great. I mean, this military Volk. You know, vil military Velcro is good and stuff, but it only lasts so long before it starts to, like, go bad. It's what the PV stuff, they all use this military Velcro, Velcro crap. I mean, it's not bad stuff, but, I mean, I just wish, you know, they'd use a screw system like the uh, sound techs down there use. Actually, taking one of the subwoofers out of these sound techs, they got some pretty impressive woofers in them, and they're pretty lightweight too. Um, I except these Altex, these Altex right here, they are absolutely heavy as shit. I mean, they only got 10 inches in them, and they're extremely, extremely heavy. I mean, these things are built. They are absolute. Oh, besides the the screen coming off, but these things are so built that the only time I'd really see me using these is maybe at a college party or something, or really crazy and. I want to protect uh, my speakers from getting too much damage. That's the only chance these guys would have. And I got these speakers as well as all that equipment separate. The case I have laying around, though. And um, just to test it, I have my Mackie Designs CR1604, which I've taken out of a case. I was going to, uh, I have to undo these rails here. These things are cool. It's a convertible rack slash standard mixer. You can convert it, so it's kind of cool. Anyhow. And my uh, trusty uh, DJ laptop, my Toshiba, my Toshiba P755. This is a really fancy one. It's got like a quad-core hyper-threaded i7. See, it's not bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Can't wait to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.